everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching. I'm very happy to be with you guys today. I want to wish you a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And I also want to thank you for your support, your love, your kindness, your words of encouragement, beautiful cards that I have received, um, your monetary support, I mean, on and on, but most of all, your friendship and just your loyalty. It's been incredible. And like I've always said, you're just such an extension to, of my family. And so I love you guys so, so much. And I thank God for you guys. And, um, you know, I'm just uh, very excited to be here today at the clinic. I am with one of you guys' and my favorite person. And it's Kay. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Kay. How are you? Good, good, you. Really good. Much better. And especially because I get the opportunity to see you. Um, so tell me, what are you planning to do for Christmas? Um, I'm planning to go out of town. You are? That's wonderful. I'm going back to Miami for a bit. Oh, all right. To see your friends? Yeah. And then you're coming back to be with your family? Yes. All right. Would you like to say hi to your fans? Hey, y'all. Uh... Aw. Well, he looks really good. Our esthetician has taken very good care of him. And so what I'm doing is just going in there and getting the ones that are really deep. And so I'm just go ahead and clean these out for him. I'm gonna have a kind of a, well, it's not gonna be quiet because we're gonna, I'm gonna have my family and I like to play games and and enjoy time together laughing. So I'm looking forward to that. So, um, yeah. And, uh, and for New Year's, I usually stay home or if our church has something going on, we'll go to church. So let me know what you guys are doing for Christmas and for New Year's. Just send their, the comment area. So um, he still does have some, you know, filament here, so you could see. So we want to um, stretch that skin and get in there and remove all that buildup. I've missed you guys so much. I really have. This, and I've always talked about this, but make sure when you wash your face that you're, you're washing, you know, these corners. Because as I let his skin, I'm stretching here now, as I let it go, what happens, all of the oil will accumulate through here. And then, of course, you're going to get blackheads and build up through that area. So, okay, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable because I'm right in those little edges there. How are you doing with your products? You got, do you have plenty? Yeah, I'm still good for now. Okay, good. You let me know. Of course. There we go. It's just getting right in that angle. So if you happen to have purchased my product, just remember that um, you're going to use it about three times a week when you first start, depending on your skin type. And then you build up from there and always start with the 5%. But again, make sure you always clean this area, okay? 
It doesn't have as much buildup here. We have a kind of like a, what is it, like a, not, it's not sunny, it's a little bit like cast is cloudy, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And, but it's like 73 today, it's going to be, so I'm excited about that. We still haven't had real cold weather. So as you can see, it looks really nice and smooth, but it's when we stretch that you could see everything that's underneath here. So that's what we're gonna target. I also wanna thank you guys for voting um, for, for us and we came out to be like the number one um, dermatology office here in Central Texas and then um, one of the best I uh, came out as one of the best estheticians so thank you thank you for entrusting um, you know our, our clinic to any of your skincare needs truly appreciate that I don't know if you remember, but with my condition, which I'm really believing that it will clear up soon, I have um, toxins that go into my brain. And sometimes it's very hard for me to, to come up with a word. And I've been having this for a while and really didn't know what was going on. And so I wanted to say earlier, partly cloudy, but I could only could get out cloud. So thank you for your patience if, um, if we keep that part in the video, but. Okay, and I'm gonna have to really get in there and, and press pretty hard on that one, even though I went ahead and opened it. Okay, you're doing fine? Yeah. And of course, you have said this before, making sure that you stretch and that the end of the cotton tip is dry, not oily, or else you get it to slip, and you don't want that.
Yeah, so you can see it's starting to get clear. Okay, then I'm going to go on this part here. Stretch that leg. And let's see if you could see. It gives that little, it almost looks like a V. And that's what I'm going to uh, work on right now. Just all of that, but when you're doing extraction, anything that's kind of like raised and it has white underneath. There's most likely filament right there, and you can see it, or white. Um, that's the color that you will see, okay? I'm going to go ahead and wash the skin. Okay, you're doing fine? Yeah. I promised myself that coming up to the new year, I wasn't going to say, Kay, are you doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I try to consciously say, Kay, are you doing fine? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that RK is growing up. <laughs> So he's going off to college. Could you tell him what you're gonna? You finally decided what you wanted to do. Uh, computer science. That's wonderful. And you know, 
with this one, I'm really talking to everyone in general, but especially to estheticians, make sure that you keep that area nice and clean so you don't spread any bacteria, okay? I was asking Kay about a sec certain section, and I'll show it to you guys in a few minutes, that um, he looks like he's, you know, scarred a little bit, nothing major, but um, so I asked him, I said, Kay, have you been picking at your skin? And he's smart, and he says, no, ma'am, and so I had to come up with a better word so I said have you been extracting <laughs> and he's like yes <laughs> and I told him I said well it's really hard to do extractions on ourselves because you can you know we can stand more pain when we do it than when someone else does it you know and so he went a little deep and caused a little bit of texture change. And so I just want to, you know, just forewarn everyone to the best way to do extractions is to wash your face really good and take a, um, to, uh, a Kleenex and put it on your fingers and then, you know, start removing it and I'll show you in a minute. But going to a professional is really the best way. I don't know if the camera could catch it, but one here and one here. Do you see that? Okay. So, here we go. And you want to get to that base. For new viewers, um, the base of that pore is important because that's where all of the bacteria sits. It'll go down and I'll put some ice on it, but just want to make sure we get this all cleaned up. And stretch. up underneath there. There you go. I really love my job. And if it wasn't because my doctor even yesterday said to them when I, I had to go to the emergency room nothing major it was because they needed to do a test and it was easier to go through the emergency room than to try to make an appointment because they were so booked out but anyway my 
the doctor, the emergency room doctor said, and Elsa, you have got to rest. And if not, I would be here every day because I miss it. I just so miss it. Miss um, my patients and my co-workers, even though they're doing a phenomenal job. I really don't even need to be here. <laughs> uh, I always say Jotty's my boss. <laughs> she runs this place. And she does a fabulous job, and I'm thankful to God for her and Griselle and all the other girls, Misty, Selena, and Regine. Great girls. Misty was taking care of you, right? Yes. She did a fabulous job. Tell them, I, I want you to tell them what you said to me. Um... <laughs> I kind of forgot, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you said um, that she, it, it was like having me when she was doing your skin. That uh, she's really good. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Put words in your mouth. Okay. So I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to do a couple here, and then I'm going to go on the cheek area, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and start on the cheek area. Okay, so we're starting on the cheek area, and I just wanted to show you just two little areas. One is right here, and one is right there. And that's from him just kind of extracting, but it's very superficial and we can definitely take care of that for him. So let's go ahead and stretch. As you can see, there's a lot underneath there. And so. Holding up okay? Yeah. Like I said, I'm going right at that pace.
Okay, you're gonna feel this just a little bit here in this area. It's a little sensitive, okay? Yep. And I'm just getting these little tiny ones here because um, if you leave them there, they'll open up those pores. I don't want that. And then this is like a little birthmark, a little mole, not a black. through this area here. Sometimes um, you will get buildup of wells also in this area. So you will get some blackheads and they can be a little stubborn. What I'm going to do is wash this area again, and I'll be right back, and then we'll keep extracting. Okay, just finished washing his skin with a 20. Okay, so this is the little area we, that um, we talked about. So you wanna get right at that base and you could hear it. Well, at least I can hear it pop. 
So it's all coming up to the surface. And you see it right there. Right on that base. Again, right at that base. And you're constantly stretching so you can get right to that base. If not, you're not going to find it and you're just going to kind of bypass it. And then I'm gonna go, let's see, around this side here, okay? Well, today is Friday, and we have a very busy clinic. <laughs> so if you hear a lot of background noise, that's it. So he's leaving uh, in a couple of days. I think he said the 15th or something. And he'll be back on the 20th, so we'll record the rest for you guys. But I want to get as much so it looks even for him. You're holding up okay?
Who knows area is probably one of the areas that hurts the most. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So it looks really great. And so I asked him, I said, Kay, you know, that area looks really good. And he's like, yeah, I, I clean it up. <laughs> and I think it's because he knows it hurts. So he doesn't <laughs> want me to do it or anybody else. But it does hurt. I know it does. Thank you for allowing me to take care of your skin and do extractions. I'm gonna try to go as gentle as I can, okay? Think about that wonderful trip you're about to take. Huh? <laughs> Your friends. Are these um, childhood friends? Yeah. Oh, my beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm going to pull right in there, okay? All right, we're going to work on this side over here and... Um What I'm doing is going around the perimeter of um, that blackhead there, and so that way I can clean all that area out. Um,
talked about uh, a different technique that you could do at home with a, you know, with just a Kleenex. I'm using a four by four, but what you want to do is stretch and just lightly push and just kind of wiggle it out. And that's better than using your fingernails. Okay. And there we go. So I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I uh, love you dearly. And I look forward to next year. And I don't know, you know, what the future holds. I just know that we serve a mighty God. And I have to say that because really um, what I went through was very tough. And I really almost died. But to the prayers and to God's grace and mercy over me, I'm here with you guys today. So I wanted to say that because I think every year I always say, I'm going to make more videos and I'm going to do this. And sometimes it just gets a little harder, but I love you guys. And so again, Merry Christmas and a happy new year. And we'll see you in 2022. God willing. Take care. Bye-bye.